Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how to create our first space in Confluence after signing up for Confluence Cloud. So during sign up process, we have already seen that uh, it will by default ask you to create a default, you know, workspace. And we have already created this first demo space while signing up for the Confluence. Now, after signing up, if you want to create more spaces, how you are uh, going to do it, we'll understand that. So basically, if I go to this view all spaces here, right? So here you will see this create space button to create the space here. Okay, so this is the one way to basically create a space. Otherwise, you can go to the spaces drop down and also click on this view all spaces. And if you click on view all spaces, it will redirect you to the same page, right? So now if I click on create space, it will give me the pop up to basically select what type of space that I want to create. So I can create a blank space or I can create a documentation space. So if you see documentation space is all about creating and managing technical documentation for your project. So if you want to manage the documentation for your project, then this is what you should be looking for. You can create software project space for a specific project. Now, if I select software project space and go next, I'll show you what exactly this does. So it creates a software project space and you have to choose the project for which you want to create this particular space. And when we say project, it's basically the Jira project that we have created. So now if you see this is the Jira project, I can select this particular project for which I want to create the space and then in the space key I can provide the unique key for this particular space I can provide the description default permissions and then click on create to create a project space okay so I'm not going to create the project space as of now I'll go back if um, and show you other spaces as well Personal space is basically for your personal use. So if you want to keep notes, task list and other content organized for yourself within the project, then you use the personal space. Uh, knowledge base is to basically capture and share the best practices and solutions uh, with, with, you know, your team. And the team space is to collaborate and share the resources within the team. All right. So say, for example, at the moment, let me, you know, create a software project space. So I'll select the software project space. I click on next and I'll select the project in which I want to create this particular space. All right. So I'll change it to space key to RDD and I'll say uh, in the description, this is software project space. All right. And a default permission will be permission because um, in the free version of Jira, it doesn't allow you to update the permission or modify the permission you have to upgrade. So that is why this is basically disabled at the moment. So this is good enough for us now. We don't need to, you know, work on any permissions to learn the basics of the confluence. So I'll simply click on create. And once I click on create, then the space will get created and will get linked to this particular project. All right, so let's wait for the creation. And if you see here now, this is the space that got created for the particular project, right? So this is what our space is. And if I go to the spaces drop down again and click on view all spaces, then I can see this is first demo space is the space that I got uh, that created uh, while we were signing up for the trial version for, for the free version of the conference up to 10 users. And this RCV demo space is the space that is associated with the project. Okay. So if I click on RCV demo here in the left hand side, you will see that there is an overview, which is basically, you know, the overview page of this particular space. And what it says is welcome to your new software project space. And you can use this to track decision scope, uh, product requirements, share uh, assets. So this is this uh, project space usually in Confluence is used mostly for managing, you know, project requirements or any other project related documents. OK, and uh, here, because this is project space, I can have the status, the lead, who is the lead. We can have the team added here. 
and then all other documents that are required for example meeting notes product requirement decision log etc can go in this particular you know space and this is the overview page of this particular you know space and here i have the roadmap that can be customized and jira issues can be filtered directly on this particular page all right on this space uh, below here you have this blog link or the space settings so in the space settings i can go and update the space settings and uh, the shortcuts as well right so i can here uh, i can click on this edit and i can add different shortcuts for this particular space so for example i want to add the important links in this particular case so i can say for example i'll add the website link or important link i'll simply add those and provide the name and then click on add shortcut and you will see the shortcut of that particular link has got added if i click on save you will see that space shortcut has been added which is basically very helpful say so for example for your team you want to have these shortcuts uh, which should be handy for the team members say so for example uh, test uh, architecture diagram or the design document or any requirement document these document if you have the shortcuts team can easily go through or any hardware and software requirement document onboarding document you can create space shortcuts here okay and if somebody will click on it it will be redirected to that particular page or website whatever you know you provide the shortcut here now in the pages section in the uh, below here you will see that you have the meeting notes you have product requirements file list decision log retrospective now these are specific to the project because in the project you will have the meetings you will have meetings and you will capture meeting notes so I, for example i want to you know capture meeting notes i can simply click on the plus sign and it will open the meeting notes page and i can start adding the meeting notes page here so i can simply say test page or test meeting notes and then click on publish so i haven't I, I i haven't added anything here but i'm just showing how you can add meeting notes simply click on publish and you can see meeting notes got added okay so this is how the overall hierarchy will look like so you'll have the pages and below pages you will have you know different uh, you know sub pages or the child pages that can be added within this particular space all right so that is a brief about adding the space for any project if i want to add any other type of space i can go to view all spaces and click on create space and i can say for example i can choose the documentation space all right so click on um, the documentation space and i can say documentation demo space and if you can provide the description and click on create so in this case you don't have to link it to any particular project because this is not a project specific space this is a documentation space and you can see that there is a, a predefined template for the documentation uh, wherein you have the featured page, pages recently updated and you can update this space as well or this template as well uh, if you want to which we'll cover in later tutorials but this is the documentation space and if you want to configure the space settings uh, you can go to space settings if you want to configure the shortcuts it is same way and in the pages you can get started and start adding the pages from here so you can click on create this plus icon and you can create the child page now in the space settings if i click on space settings um, you will see these are some of the space settings that i'll cover in the next tutorial all right so that is all about uh, creating the space or the new space in confluence and briefly walking through what all spaces are and how hierarchy looks like after you create the spaces hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching